now those things how this has been uh, executed in this so durations dependencies tasks okay so now you just consider in this uh, program or you can say the chart task is there effort the percentage how many days that he has taken then duration of the days dependencies first task is task 1 task 2 task 3 task 1 and task 2 it doesn't have any dependencies so the you can allocate that particular staff okay person that they can allocate and he is going to execute duration how many days that he is working okay how many uh, how much percentage of effort that he has been made okay number of hours that he worked so, okay those things that it is getting calculated in this then you will see t3 t3 it is taking 20 percent days okay the effort and the duration is 15 days within 15 days that has to be get completed to complete t3 it means t1 should complete first okay t1 should complete first module 1 of the t1 should complete then only t3 can be completed t4 doesn't have any dependency so t1 t2 t4 all three can start simultaneously once the t1 completes t3 can start then to start t5 he needs t2 and t4 should complete t2 and t4 should complete so the timing and days everything that it has to get calculated and once that is been done then only you can able to give the t5 task it's going to get started like that the till uh, 12th task if you are going to consider to complete the 12th task there is a deadline there is an end so t10 and t11 must be completed t10 and t11 must be completed now these are the tasks and durations and dependencies it has been shown in this so you are, now you have understood that this one project this one project so now in this the 12 tasks are there and uh, how that has been scheduled that has been shown in this now it is an activity bar chart it is bar chart that they said here you will come to know that very easily uh, how it is dependencies are run there how, when it is getting started and all these things now you see that t1 t2 t4 on starts in the week zero it started the milestones as i said that is a rhombus marks are there those are the milestones it is going to be okay so t1 t2 t1 is completed t4 is also completed when t1 completes t3 can start from the second week so first week only t1 t2 t4 on peoples uh, are get allocated with the project then t3 after two weeks they will come into the picture then t5 they will come into the picture on third week t5 and t6 because by t6 so it is going to complete on the third week on that week that uh, t5 and t6 right, that they can start now t7 now you see that t7 is not having any uh, dependencies so it can start from the second week and t8 also okay so to make it uh, uh, t4 that is uh, mm -hmm. t4 should start okay so it is started over there so any dependencies are there that it should be get checked in this now you see that here t4 okay it is depending on m2 m2 is over here okay uh, m2 is here now so model 2 the t4 is getting completed in this but before that this is going to start here the milestone is already is met okay. according to that it is going to start and here t3 and t6 once the t6 is completed it already it is completed and it is going to start in the fifth week okay uh, t9 is going to start t3 is already completed in the fifth week like that t10 is there t10 is going to 
T7 after completion of T7 and T8 uh, T10 is going to start T11 after T9 completes okay T9 when it completes eighth week so uh, that week only at the end of the week uh, T11 is going to start T12 that is going to start by 10th week because T10 should complete for that and T11 should complete so those things will get completed by 10th week finally they will be going to finish that particular task so these things are the deliverables you can say milestones we can say okay those things are going to be met now you understood how the project is getting scheduled the activities are going to get scheduled every project your projects also like this you should plan it okay the staff allocation it is going to be okay people are getting allocated you see that t1 t2 okay and t4 so staff is getting allocated for temporary way that is jane ali geeta okay maya fred mary hong so when first person is going to be he is going to get allocated with till 9 weeks he will be there okay so um, then uh, ali is going to be there like in between that he is going to be remote and he is going to get added again okay so like this the data is going to be get forwarded from the staff allocation so everybody is not going to be allocated at the same time so they will be going to allocate whenever that it is required then only they will be going to be get allocated see for this t2 gira is allocated at the sixth point only not the beginning okay party she is going to work and then after it's going to be moved right now project uh, under the project planning estimate ancient techniques are going to be there estimation techniques are going to be there <coughs> estimation techniques are how this uh, effort is going to get calculated okay. okay the cost is going to be estimated so there are two techniques are there one is uh, experience based techniques and uh, another is uh, algorithmic based techniques okay so experience based techniques uh, the manage how, how much will be the experience based on that the salary will be fixed and and uh, domain knowledge of that and the programming knowledge of that based on that thing that uh, experienced people they will be going to get the salary for that then algorithm based uh, modeling or cost modeling it is going to be so here uh, exact uh, the programs will be there okay the size of the program that they will be going to consider and on that uh price is going to be get fixes okay how many lines of code that they have been written so based on that the price price is going to be fixed so some uncertainty that it may occur okay so the cost is going to go beyond that okay there is a x factor is going to be there so to x it is going to increase so or it may even down also because of some crisis that it may is going to it is possible okay so estimation is very very important thing so it depends upon the uh, experienced peoples they can able to easily judge that what will be the cost of that particular product by using this feasibility study requirements design coding and delivery how much time that it is going to take those things that it, they will be able to calculate okay, that's, what, that's what i said so here basically uh, now you see that experienced uh, techniques okay so it depends upon the um, project types and uh, effort is going to be get calculated in that and uh, how many deliverables that the uh, customer expects based on that it is going to be because within the short time okay the project is going to have will be get completed within uh, one one year means the is and the expectation of the delivery or the modules delivery is going to be every month that he expects okay then the cost is going to be more if the expectation is a half quarter year quarter year or half year then the cost is going to be get reduces okay depends upon the things it is going to be okay the effort is going to be get calculated based on the work that they have been done